Welcome to the mysterious world of Hollow Creek, where the air is thick with anticipation and the cobblestones seem to hum with secrets. This is a place where the past and present collide, where the return of the carnival is not just an event, but a reckoning. Join us as we delve into the lives of those who dare to uncover the truth behind the carnival's dark legacy. Stay tuned to Storyteller for an unforgettable journey. In the heart of Hollow Creek, the local diner stands as a sanctuary for Evelyn Evie Moore. The faded red vinyl seats and the comforting aroma of greasy fries offer a refuge from the weight of her family's tragic history. Evie, with her long, wavy chestnut hair and expressive green eyes, sits at a booth, her fingers tracing the rim of her coffee cup. She is lost in thought, her mind a whirl of curiosity and dread as she recalls the stories her grandmother told her about the carnival's dark legacy. The diner is her escape, a place where the whispers of the past can be heard if one listens closely enough. Across from Evie sits Jake Thompson, a young man with tousled dark hair and sharp blue eyes that dance with skepticism. Jake's father, a town historian, vanished under mysterious circumstances, leaving behind a trail of unanswered questions. Jake is determined to uncover the truth, to solve the mystery that has haunted him for years. As he listens to Evie's recounting of the carnival's return, doubt laces his voice. You really think it's going to be like they say? He asks, his mind racing with possibilities. The weight of his father's legacy rests heavily on his shoulders, driving him to seek answers. Lily Garcia, with her vibrant dyed hair and colorful clothing, is a whirlwind of creativity. Her artistic spirit is captured in the furious strokes of her pen as she sketches the essence of the carnival on a napkin. Her vivid imagination is a stark contrast to Marcus, who sits with a defiant posture, arms crossed, his rebellious nature simmering just beneath the surface. It's just a bunch of old tents and rides, Evie. You're letting your imagination run wild. Marcus scoffs, his voice dripping with disdain. The tension between Evie and Marcus crackles like static electricity, each word a spark igniting their differences. The diner feels smaller, the walls closing in as the group delves deeper into the carnival's history.